Yo, good morning YouTube. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to fix every single problem that you have with dosing peptides as well as I'm about to show you my new skincare protocol that has been doing wonders. I've been seeing a lot of it go around TikTok and Instagram lately, but I want to break down how to actually do this safely and the protocol that I'm using so that people have as much knowledge as possible. Now, I just want to remind you I'm not a doctor and just because I am doing this does not mean I'm recommending it to you. But with that said, let's get into it. Now, if you haven't heard of this neon blue peptide called GHKCU, you are clearly not a part of the looks maxing community. Now, I know it might be hard to believe that your boy's a part of the looks maxing community, considering that my mid face is way too long, my jowls are coming in way too hard, my total height to face ratio is just not optimal, my upper maxilla is super recessed, and obviously I have extremely bad acne scarring from being an absolute troll in the past. But that doesn't mean that you can't work hard every single day to make yourself as good looking as possible, and it all starts starts with GHKCU in my personal opinion. But I'm about to show you an absolute game changer with this peptide that I've been doing for the last two weeks and I've seen insane results. But before we get into that, I want to show you how to actually dose a peptide correctly. Now I get this question so much as Mark, how much backwater do you add into a 10 milligram peptide, a 20, a 50? It's like guys, we lift weights, we are not mathematicians. 45 plus 45 equals 135, and there's nobody that's gonna tell me differently. So you think that I can divide 50 into 2.5 milliliters of water and get an accurate unit ratio on an insulin pin? Yes, I can, because I've been doing this for nine years. However, there is a website that is completely free. You can take the milligram peptide you want, the style of insulin needles you have, and the amount of water that you put in and it will tell you where on that insulin needle is the dosage that you're taking and you can play around with this to ensure that you are taking the correct dosage. Now today we are going to be mixing GHKCU and there is two ways that you can mix this. One to take as sub-Q injections and one to use as a topical serum. You cannot mix these two things the same way. So we're going to leave this one aside because it is already mixed and I will tell you what it is mixed with after but this for example we are going to be using 2.5 milliliters of bacterial water so 2.5 of bacterial water which you can get on several websites including my sponsor that don't forget is running a 25 to 40 percent off sale this week with code black friday for all your research needs every peptide is extremely delicate you cannot inject right into the powder as you will damage the product on every peptide rule of thumb is inject into the glass and then slowly swirl it around and that is how you correctly mix a peptide. I did one milligram for one month, I'm doing two milligrams for two months, and then I'm taking a full month off because we are leaving the country for a little bit, and I'm just not gonna be traveling with many of the peptides. Even if you are not traveling, you want to make sure that you come off GHKCU at least a month for every three months that you're on. This is a copper-based peptide, and it is very bad to take year round. Obviously, it drastically helps collagen production, helps with the elasticity of your skin, helps with acne. It's basically an injectable collagen peptide that you are taking in super simple terms. This is gonna help rejuvenate all of that skin as well as clean up a lot of that acne. To 10 is two milligrams. That is how small it is. And I will just come up, pinch some skin, and right into the fat. Now, because of the copper, this can sting a little bit for some people. So I recommend doing it into your stomach, or as a lot of doctors recommend, do it into the top of your glute because there is so much fat there. Just know that stinging is a part of the game. No pain, no gain when you're look maxing. That's why you gotta bash in your cheeks with a hammer 
every other day. Now, when you're storing the GHKCU that you mix with bacterial water, make sure to not leave it in the door of your fridge. Even if you swing that open or your mom or your dad swings that open and shakes it too much, it will damage the peptide. You wanna keep it out of light in a cool environment. So this is perfect. And if you are hiding it from your parents because you don't want them to see it, I would tape it to the bottom of something that doesn't move. But GHKCU should be taken every single day at one milligram to two milligrams. And at first I did not like this product because it did take a full month to start noticing the effects. Now, obviously you can see I have a long way to go, but considering this is what we started with and this is where we're at now, I'm taking a win where I can take a win. As with the second, shut up! Well, people say steroids cause anger. I've been off for three months and I'm just as angry. So we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you a crazy hack to do with the second GHKCU and what to mix it with. This is the craziest hack that I started doing about three weeks ago and the progress has been unmatched. Now I usually do this before bed, but I just wanted to use some of the natural light so I can show you guys really how to do this and the safest way to do this. There's a specific protocol that you need to use or you are going to irritate your skin and it's going to look worse than it ever has. And here's why. The GHK that we mixed downstairs was bacterial water which is basically a sterile water, but it has 0.9% benzyl alcohol in it. Microneedling causes little abrasions all over your skin, help with hair growth, help with collagen production, help with wrinkles, help with acne scars, and so on. But if you have alcohol in there, it's going to irritate your skin like no tomorrow. And the one that you're gonna put on your face and your back for the acne scars, should be sterile water and do not mix these two up. Now, another thing that I saw on Instagram was people actually injecting this into their cheeks. There is no difference to spot inject GHK. If you inject this into your cheeks, you will be left with huge lumps and it is just a horrible look and it does no added benefit. So you wanna make sure that your skin is as clean as possible using a non-scented soap. Obviously, I use Acne Attack Black Charcoal Soap. It's non scented probably one of the cleaner bars of soap that you can use obviously 30 percent off for black friday as well but any non-scented soap is fine the next thing you want to do is make sure that you alcohol sterilize your derma roller to make sure it is as clean as possible if there's any dirt on this going into your face at all it's just going to cause infections and cause you to break out even more so you do not need a lot of this so obviously use a different needle than you use to inject yourself with do not use the same one make sure that you have the sterile water in here not the bacterial water and what you want to do is just pour a little bit of this GHK over your skin you don't want to rub it in with your hands because your hands are dirty world you kind of just want to leave it there and if you have one of these swabs from your girlfriend, you can lightly dab to make sure you get it over all the area. Take your micro needle and just make short bursts in different directions all over the scars or the wrinkles or the affected area that you're trying to fix. You only want to do this once a week because this needs to heal. This is kind of just a touch up that you can do at home that I feel makes a massive difference. I don't show this often, but I'm, I'm gonna just open up. You guys know that I'm super self-conscious about my back because that was a massive acne spot for myself. I was left with massive scarring. I've only been doing the derma rolling and GHKU on my back for three weeks, but I think that there's been a huge difference. It is still horrible. Do not get me wrong. It is still one of my most biggest insecurities to date. I'm still scared of taking my shirt off in public because of how bad my back scarring is, but this has been a game changer. So this is what it looks like now. You can see the scarring 
was a lot more indented before and it has leveled out completely. So if you have a girlfriend, well, who am I kidding? That's that's pretty difficult in 2025. But if you have a girlfriend, it's easier, but you can still do this yourself. What I would do is just lean over the same way is kind of put that GHKU on here. Don't soak it up with the pad, but just kind of run it over all of the scars and then take your derma roller and again, short movements back and forth in a whole bunch of directions. And obviously guys, this is going to be a long-term thing. You're not gonna do this for two weeks and cure all of your scars, but for someone that, but for someone that struggles with acne scarring in this world that puts so much emphasis on looks, this has made a huge difference. GHKCU, because of the copper, also really helps with hair growth. Mind you, it doesn't have the best absorption when it's topical, but I have noticed mixed with the derma rolling, it makes a huge difference. I got blessed with horrible skin, but amazing hair. So you gotta pick and choose what you want in this life. I got actually nerfed with really shitty height, cause I'm 5'7", horrible skin, but I'm outrageously strong and have a really good head of hair. So like I said downstairs, you gotta take the small wins. I'll put the GHKCU like on those affected hair spots or like on the, the little Jew thing that always goes for people and then uh, micro needle that as well because it'll make a huge difference. So I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna go make our pre-workout meal and go get a natty shoulder day in. Pre-workout is served. 140 grams of chicken and a few smiley fries. I didn't really weigh the smiley fries, but you know, when you're getting sad, you have to remember that sad backwards is das because das not good. Make yourself some smiley fries. Take an insane pre-workout stack like SLUPP and then 20 milligrams of Cialis. Okay, don't do that. I'm going to do that. You can't do that because I'm not held responsible. And just go get the craziest pump of your absolute fucking life. Check out that baddie. Contemplate going up to her all workout and then not saying that you'll do it next time and then never seeing that girl ever again. That's what gym is about. That's what life is about. It's just living it to the fullest. So... I'm gonna eat all this. Like I said, because of the C-Max, I'm not really on much pre-workout right now, but as a disclaimer, as I said in the other video, guys, I am no longer with Gorilla Mine. I was with the company for four and a half years. I was one of their OG athletes, their seventh athlete on the team to be specific. There's no bad anything towards the company. They have outgrown life. They are in every single supplement store. They are on Amazon, they're in Walmart. They just don't have room for athletes anymore. When the contract was up, we both decided to part ways and I cannot release it yet, but it is looking very good that I have gotten my dream company sponsorship. So I'm going to be letting you guys know that in the coming videos, probably mid-December is when everything's going to be starting, but I could not be happier and I couldn't have done it without every single person that hits the like button, hits the subscribe button, just interacts with these videos, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you agree with me, disagree, whether you just share your experience, it is all greatly appreciated. So like I said, let's eat this, go train some shoulders, and I'll see you in a little bit. Lock in, gotta stay locked in, goggins, gotta ball out like Robin, straight to the top, I'm all in. Ordinary like a toxin, I don't wanna be like Robin, I just wanna leave no option, fuck caution, I ain't gonna be common. I got the confidence, like I'm on this shit, like I'm the baddest bitch in the club. I'm here for dominance, I'm being honest, that's what I want, I'll never give up, I want the whole place, so that my name ain't every mouth. You know I'm after this shit, till the world say my motherfucking name. Say my, say my, say my, say my, say my name. Say my, say my, say my, Say my motherfucking name. Say my, say my, say my. You know I'm mad to this shit. Tell the world, say my motherfucking name. Say my, say my, say my, say my name. Say my, say my, say my motherfucking name. Say my, say my, say my. You know I'm mad to this shit. Tell the world, say my motherfucking name.
driven by fire, driven by fear, never get tired, no, I'm still here, fell to the cracks, now I'm shifting gears, 10 years into my moments here, waited my turn, now I'm hot in demand, slept on the kid, but I had bigger plans, stayed low key, but I still had drive, give me one shot, now I'm coming alive, names on the left, second taste it, gunning for the top, no limitations, from the basement, no hesitation, flipping on my L's, some straight motivation, ain't no quitter, I'm built for the grind, pressure makes time, so I'm gonna shine, one more shot, get yeah, one more time, driven affection, we locked in our prime, place on my gloves, been fighting for years, faced on my demons, I'm faced on my fears, Look every hit is a look in the mirror, my vision's alive and the mission is clear. Say my name, say it loud, every scar I wear them proud. Every word coming out my mouth has got me here where I'm standing now. Eyes on the prize, no blink, no break. Move with a purpose, don't be fake. No play B, only got to play an A. When he built like me, there's only one way. Straight to the top, oh yes, no breaks. Yeah, straight to the top, cause no gotta stay. You know I'm after this shit, till the world say my motherfucking name. Say my, say my, say my, say my name. Say my, 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 say my,